Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm here with a slimline card using the amazing Barnon slimline dye by Crafty Moroccy as well as some Hello Bluebird products. So the Hello Bluebird products I'm using today are the Frosty Littles, Frosty Friends and My Snowman. Now first of all I stamped out all of my snowmen as well as the sentiments that I'm going to use today, well a few of them, um, but I will not use these black sentiments. I decided later on that I was going to use a bit of colorful sentiments, but well, now you see why I'm using also the My Snowman set and the Frosty Friends. The paper that I'm using today is the Transotype Perfect Coloring Paper, and as you can see here, I'm Copic coloring. Um, for the colors from my Copic markers, I was inspired by the colored cardstock that I wanted to use today, um, the colored cardstock by Concord and Ninth. I have like those paper packs where you have a combination of all of them, you get two sheets of each um, and I just love it. Um, I also bought the mini ink cubes and I use them later on in this card. As I said in the beginning, I didn't like the black sentiments so I decided to use the same inks as I used from the cardstock and I just love it. The inks and the cardstock are a perfect match and I think that's truly important depending on which kind of card you're making this can really really help you uh, getting things done getting the right color um, and I just love it I'm truly addicted to Concord and Ninth um, I also love their sets but well um, I have my critters here that I also need to give some attention but their color cardstock and their inks I'm just well, over the moon. They are gorgeous. So this is my pink and then I will also be using a light green and a muted blue. And then for some of the hats I'm using brown and then the star will be with yellow. Um, but I'm listing all the Copic markers that I'm using in the description box if you want to know what I'm using. Um, also all the supplies that I'm using I am listing them down below. I do not have affiliated links, um, but well, it can help you already to know what I'm using exactly. And then who knows where you can buy them, you maybe have a local store, um, so that can help. Now for the lovers of Hello Bluebird, if you're wondering where I bought these sets, I buy them at Hello Bluebird. So far I don't know any European company that is selling them. Some sold them in the past but not anymore. Um, well, I just buy them at Hello Bluebird. I'm a fan. Um, I, cannot, I cannot pass one of the images. Like, no. Uh, so I buy them there. Um, but well, I know for European uh, crafters that, that it's not handy and customs and all those things. I just take it into account before I order and then I already know that when it arrives that I still have to pay lots of customs uh, but for Hello Bluebird I make the exception. So that being said I'm already at the blues and as you can see all the accessories the colors I'm just using the same colors again and again. Uh, I think I have enough color for this card. I don't want it to be like a mess. <laughs> so, um, well, um, the greens are already done as well and then I'm going to use that blue again for the one with the adorable card or envelope with heart. I love that one. This set is also an older one but I think truly that this set from the Frosty Littles was the first set that truly drew my attention onto Hello Bluebird and just kicking off the love <laughs> for Hello Bluebird. So, and now I'm addicted. Um, so onto my final image being the star. No, I will also add a bit of grey on the envelope slash card. Um, and then I will use the matching dies and cut everything out. And then I can already start on the background. Truly, this background is one of my favorites. Um, just spoiler alert, the Barnon Slimline die, I can make a card 
using this dye every day over and over there are <laughs> there is like no reason to not use this dye except to vary a bit for you all um, but this dye and definitely if you live in America there is no excuse Crafty Meraki is there <laughs> in my opinion this is a slim line dye that everyone needs why because you can do so many things um, I'm also on the YouTube channel of Crafty Meraki if you didn't know and there I also shared already a few cards with this dye you can completely inblend this dye you can keep those bars uh, they are perfect for sentiment strips so don't throw them away I never do um, you can do like me and just partially cut it out of colored cardstock as well and then inlay all those colors um, you can use pattern papers which I still need to do uh, but imagine a pattern paper uh, same color combination or just the same paper pad that you have um, and then just filling those bars using different patterns with that same color combination. I just think it should be gorgeous. <laughs> Every stamp set that I see, I think of this slimline dye and I'm just like, okay, I can use it. But then I'm like, no, <laughs> try something else. Try to use all the products you have. Truly, if you're not convinced about this slimline dye, I don't know what to say anymore. I love, love, love it. <laughs> okay. So far, all the enthusiasm. As you can see, I laid out all my elements. I showed you the inks that I'm using, which are the same inks as the colors of the cardstock. The inks that I'm using are Ballet Slipper, Sprout and Sea Glass. Uh, and they just match. <laughs> um, so that's what I did. Love, love, love. Concord and Ninth. Um, and now I'm just using thin foam squares, some liquid glue. To get everything in place and then we can embellish because we cannot skip embellishments so for the snow as you maybe remember from the beginning i also had it in black i'm just going to use that one to bag behind my one layer already so that i have two layers of this snow it's a bit of dimension already and i just love it it's not too much it's a bit thinner than the thin foam squares, but I love it. So why not? Adding it with a bit of liquid glue and then onto embellishments. As embellishments, I am using today one of my favorites, being the Iridescent Stars from Studio Kacha. Uh, there are two sizes, so I'm trying to vary a bit over this panel. And then I will add everything using a bit of liquid glue. And then of course, of course, I'm using some stickles as well. I don't know if it is allowed to not use stickles. Um, but lately, I think I sort of used it on almost every card <laughs> that I made. Because it's a wonderful extra. It's a bit of glitter. It dries flat. Um, I use the Stardust a lot. I only have three, which are more um, just white or silver <laughs> stuff. Um, and well yeah, that's what I'm using all over, doing the accessories, a bit of the scars, a bit on the hats, also on the star, I almost forgot it, but I added it later on, um, just until I was happy. I don't think you can have ever enough glitter, but once that is on there, this card is completely finished. And I must admit, I had so much fun in laying. And as you saw, I have a lot of strips left. So I can make this card or a similar one tons of times just by die cutting it out of these different colored cardstocks. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video and that, of course, you like the end result. If you have any questions, you can always leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I hope that you have a wonderful day. I will be back soon with some new crafty inspiration. See you then. Bye!